It's showtime, folks! <laughs> Impact Wrestling fans, welcome back. I'm here to talk Impact Wrestling, and it is the Impact Binge Watch today. I'm going to talk about three Impact Wrestling topics. I'm going to put them back to back to back. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top five things that Impact Wrestling is doing right in 2018. I'm going to get to a lot of topics. So normally, I like to do the two-minute one where I put two minutes on the clock. But in this case, it's virtually impossible to do a top five in two minutes. So I'm just going to roll with the top five. Feel free to like and subscribe. So we're going to start out at number five. Top five things Impact Wrestling is doing right in 2018. Collaboration. Impact is working with a lot of promotions, Rise, Lucha Underground, the list goes on and on and on and on. They're doing a lot of great things, and like I've said before, if you're not WWE, the money is not in monopolization, the money is in collaboration. And the more times Impact works with these promotions we even see something going on with new japan pro wrestling as i mentioned before with taji ishimori and the thing that i have is that for a long time now in recent memory i've, I've really been hoping for a impact wrestling new japan pro wrestling ring of honor and lucha underground show where they all just get together have this big show for all intents and purposes, All In is kind of that show, but I like to have it an official event with all of those promotions together, and it would be a fantastic event, a huge selling event in my opinion, and it would get eyes on the product, even more eyes on the product. But I like what they're doing. In the interim, I like what they're doing so far. The collaboration has been really well done. Uh, they're going out to England as well. That's going to be well done when they go out to those promotions and work with them as well. So I'm looking forward to everything they have coming forward in whomever else that they work with. All right, we're going to go with number four. Every division matters. And when I say that, I mean that nobody is left behind. You know, there's been some years where you looked at Impact Wrestling or TNA, and normally the division that gets left out is the X Division. And you're like, man, they got to do something with the X Division because it was just so great once before, and now they're not doing anything with it. And like now, you see this from the standpoint, this standpoint, that every division matters, the heavyweight division matters, there's a lot of fluidity. In that division, it seems like anybody can come up and win, win the heavyweight title. Uh, the X Division matters. We got Brian Cage in the X Division doing cruiserweight stuff. Desmond Xavier, they had a fantastic match up on this recent episode of Impact. And the tag team division matters as well. We got Andrew Everett and DJ Z as champions. I love that combination. They weren't doing a whole lot in the X Division, so it makes sense to put them together. It's kind of like a beer money effect when they just threw Bobby Roode and James Storm together, and they were great as a tag team. So I like that. They just had a tag team the title defense against Drago and Aerostar, it was. And we have LAX lurking around, so... That should be a phenomenal matchup. I guess we're going to see that very soon. We'll have to see how it all plays out. So moving on to number three. And I think this is huge. It could very much be number two or number one. But number three is the company is not built around one person. Look, in Impact Wrestling history, going all the way back to the TNA days, when you ask, if you were to ask me a question, what is the one thing that you think about when you hear the name TNA? I think about X Division. And it has always been a, from a standpoint that TNA was never built around one person. Even though you can say AJ Styles is sort of like the Sting or the Undertaker of TNA, the company was never just built squarely around him and no one else there were always many names at the top that is your know, Samoa Joe's your Christopher Daniels all of these guys like your Frankie Kazarians all of these guys towards the top in TNA 
And looking at the at the division now, when you say who's the draw in TNA, I know <laughs> Sammy Callahan, you know he has a name, but when you say who's the draw in TNA, it's like you can never put your finger on one person because they do not do a WWE thing. And I, I hate to make the reference to WWE, but WWE had, had the thing where they were building the company around Roman Reigns and Brock Lesnar. And once that all fell apart, WWE had a thing to where nobody looks like a credible challenger against Brock Lesnar outside of two people. Like two people are left and Impact Wrestling doesn't have that problem. They have, they build the company around everybody. It's much like the way wrestling divisions were built in the 90s when I was watching it. You had multiple guys at the top, and Impact has multiple guys at the top. They have multiple ladies at the top. A Rosemary, you could argue that Rosemary is the draw of Impact. You could argue that a lot of people are the draw of Impact, but the company does not build the entire wrestling promotion around one person which is fantastic so moving on we move on to number two and at number two i have written down all wrestling no bs so tommy dreamer i recently heard him say this in the interview he gave impact wrestling the tip of his tip of all wrestling no bs None of, the, none of the crap that goes on that we saw with Vince Russo even though Vince Russo there was a time period right before Hogan and Bischoff came along that Vince Russo look he did a phenomenal job that was around the time where it was, things were going with Kurt Angle and ah who was the guy Nigel McGuinness he was under another name but they had a phenomenal feud and there was a lot of phenomenal feuds going on but moving back to the topic our wrestling no BS. It's not about backstage talking segments. Not a, not about long talking segments. It's pretty much let the wrestlers go out there and do their job. And I've always been a proponent of if you have a wrestling heavy show, it's gonna be good. More often than not, wrestling heavy shows deliver for wrestling fans, and that's what Impact has been all about lately. I don't take the timer out in time the matches or how long wrestling goes throughout the show, but it's just the feel whenever you watch it, you can feel that it's all about wrestling and not about the BS and the BS finishes. So moving on to number one, that brings me to management. Look, we've had a lot of regimes in Impact Wrestling, TNA, uh, Dixie Carter, Jeff Jarrett, uh, Billy Corgan, Twitch, you know, Billy Corgan had well enough intentions, and I was always, I always had the back of Billy Corgan, and I like the things he has going on with NWA, he's bringing prestige back to that title, and I really much enjoy that, that's going to be on the line at All In, by the way, but look at the management, management we have now, the Golden Bookers, I think that's a cheesy name, but I, I you know, I, I like it, I'll go with it, we got Scott Demore, we got Cyrus, I know him as Cyrus. Many people know him as Don Callis, but I'm a wrestling fan. He's Cyrus to me. But these guys are doing a phenomenal job. Even going back into the yesteryears of TNA, Scott Demore used to run the Knockouts division, and that was around the time where the Knockouts division just started the women's revolution. That's my opinion. I'll start, you know what? Maybe I'll start a video on that at one point, but to stay on the topic, management has done an excellent job all of these things that i have put forward you can't have it without the vi vision of management i remember scott demore saying sometime months ago or what or what have you sometime around when they first took over he was like he said something to the effect of rome was built in the day that it's not going to happen overnight we need he, he, he pleaded for impact fans to give them time and, and that change would come over time and you could just see the change coming over time steadily just coming every little move that they make you can see change coming collaboration and basing the show around wrestling and you can see these positive changes coming left and right and I enjoy every minute of it I'm very much excited to see where Scott Demore and Cyrus will take the, the, the company next and I think we're off to great things now, when we get these tapings outside of 
the impact zone i mean i really much enjoy these tapings and i'm very much excited to see how those played out we have already had some tapings in canada i want to see how the upcoming tapings are happening what goes on but once you get a live wrestling crowd in on those tapings is takes it to an entirely different level it's like when tna used to go to england just those tapings i really used to enjoy those tapings so we'll see how those play out and i'm excited for scott Moore. i'm excited for cyrus and i'm excited to see what they're doing with impact wrestling also i could throw this as a bonus in on top five reasons this would be a bonus but they do not insult your intelligence as a wrestling fan look when somebody is hot and i understand that you know what this guy should be in the main event scene impact wrestling goes with it like they do not hold people down in impact wrestling it's a very much equal opportunist promotion and they don't do things to outwardly insult your intelligence as a wrestling fan they don't do offensive segments like the bobby lashley bobby lashley sister segments those don't happen anymore they do things that make sense they don't do nonsensical things it's not perfect but they do a lot of things that make sense and that makes for a great wrestling program so those are the top five things that impact wrestling is doing well in 2018 let me know down below what are some things that you think impact is doing well let me know if i missed anything let me know down below and stay tuned i will have another video coming up after this shortly